past few days and even today we've been experiencing that snow shane but it sounds like we're going to shift our focus a little bit more to the cool temperatures that's right we're dropping down into the single digits tonight wind chills could go sub-zero so a bitter cold night on tap let's take a look and how the weather has been today across the region. We start off with the time lapse over at UVA Wise, and you can see it's been cloudy for most of the day. They even had a few snow squalls earlier, but now notice in the last few hours, skies beginning to clear out a little bit, and that's going to allow these temperatures to drop even more. 16 right now at Wise with a feels like temperature of five degrees. We continue to see snow showers on pinpoint Doppler radar. Not a lot of precipitation out there. It is very light and scattered in nature right now, and it will continue to dissipate over the next few hours. Here's a look at our Kentucky Mesonet temperatures. 21 Whitley City, 20 Barberville, 17 McKee, 20 Jackson, 17 into West Liberty. Factor in the wind already down into the teens and single digits. Feels like two right now in Hindman, nine below zero at the top of Black Mountain. Some bitter cold wind chills heading our way tonight. So really cold. Here's a look at the air temperature forecast uh, through the evening. You can see down at seven o'clock tomorrow morning, about nine degrees. Highs tomorrow only into the mid to upper 20s. But the good news is that snow is coming to an end. The area of low pressure that is bringing us the snow is about to move out. And that big band out in western Kentucky, well, that's going to miss us. Thank goodness. We don't need any more snow. That low continues to push east through the overnight. Skies will clear out. That's what allows the temperatures to drop down so much, though. However, we could see a wintry mix on Friday as another storm system dives in from the northwest. Not a lot of moisture with this one but it could bring a little bit of wintry mix late in the day. Let's talk about those feels like temperatures going through the overnight. Six o'clock tomorrow morning, two below zero, one below zero, just overall a very, very chilly night. And then tomorrow around lunchtime, we go back into the double digits. But the bottom line, with wind chills that cold, it is a little bit on the dangerous side. You don't need to be exposed to that for more than 30 minutes or so, or it can cause frostbite. So make sure to wear extra layers. If you're going to be traveling, have some extra water and uh, something to stay warm in the car, an extra blanket or some jackets, and be sure to protect those pipes tonight. And please be sure to bring in your pets. They do not need to be out in that kind of cold. Now, once that storm system moves through Friday, Saturday, 14 for your low, 21 for your high, Valentine's Day, it is looking oh so chilly. Check out the Valentine's Day forecast. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, or uh, 8 o'clock Sunday morning when you wake up, how about 10 degrees? Not a good way to start Valentine's Day. But notice, temperatures actually stay pretty steady once you get into the afternoon, mid to upper 20s, and that milder weather carries us into next week, but that causes wintry mix Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> All right, still very wintry. Very <laughs> much so. Next in sports, we announce our boys and girls players of the week.